Solar eclipse is one of the most hype worthy celestial events and the US gets to see two of them in the next six months. So get out your eclipse glasses and let's raise that weather IQ. For the most accurate information, we reached out to NASA Ambassador Tony Rice. On October 14, 2023, the United States will have a rare eclipse called an annular eclipse. This is also known as the Ring of Fire. Shout out to Johnny Cash. The name comes from the Latin word annulus, which means ring. An eclipse is when the moon passes directly between the Earth and Sun, but... The moon's orbit isn't quite circular. It's a, a little bit elongated. The moon is at what's called an apogee, which makes it appear smaller since it's further away, showing the Ring of Fire. This 110-mile-wide path stretches over 1,000 miles from Oregon through Texas. Those in the path of annularity will see a ring like this. Wow! The United States hasn't had an annular eclipse since May 2012, but the next one isn't until July 2084. But those living outside the path need to have their glasses ready. The rest of the continental in the United States will see a partial eclipse where it looks like someone took a bite out of the sun. Here's when to see it. On Saturday, October 14th, Charlotte's eclipse will start around 11.50 a.m., ending around 2.45 p.m. The entire show is close to three hours. The peak will be around 1.16 p.m., where the Charlotte area can expect 40 to 43% of the sun to be covered. When viewing an eclipse, you must always have your eclipse glasses or a handheld solar viewer, and no, sunglasses won't cut it. Never look directly at the sun at any time. Things like a cereal box viewer that you can make is another way to view the event safely. So be safe, everybody, and enjoy the show. I'm meteorologist Chris Mulcahy with WCNC Charlotte. So I wasn't able to get to it, but really the big event is, of course, the next great American eclipse, the total eclipse that people yes. look forward to. But the annual eclipse is actually one of the more rarer events because everything has to line up a little bit better. Charlotte won't be in the line for one of those until the year 2267. Oh, yeah. So uh, we're not, we're not going to see that. So maybe cross them <laughs> off the list. Put that on my phone. Uh, but uh, for the total eclipse, that's going to be on April 8th next year. Okay. People have already been booking hotel rooms to see this one because it's going to be a while till we yeah. see one. And Charlotte will be on under an 80% partial eclipse, but we won't be in the path of totality until 2078. So at least that one's a little bit more. A lot of information. Yeah. Okay. Pretty much yeah. April okay. 8th, 2024, <laughs> okay, the next great yeah. American. That's the takeaway. There okay. it is. Perfect. Perfect. So I did, and hopefully, I mean, right now it's kind of you know, half and half about whether the clouds are going to affect it or not. Yeah. So hopefully we'll work it out yeah. as we get into yeah. Saturday. To the